Hello, I'm Adam Ricketts, and welcome to Adam's Universe, where we take a different look at some interesting current events. Today, a famous superhero has gone rogue, and I figured out during my research for this episode that I live in Florida and not Florida. But I'm back. So without further ado, let's start the show. Whew. A 16 year old boy robbed a VIP building at the Colorado State Fair wearing a kid's Batman costume. <laughs> Seriously? Plus, you go through all that trouble to wear a kid's Halloween costume and you don't even put on the mask to cover your face. Then what was the point of putting on the costume that your little brother probably wore last year for Halloween? As a result of not wearing the mask, and his face being posted on every news outlet in Colorado, he turned himself in. <laughs> Come on, he can't even pass as an evil Batman. Check out these signs by the Florida Department of Transportation. Two signs for universities along Interstate 95 say Florida and not Florida. A company from Arkansas made the error. Which asks the questions, why didn't the Arkansas company use spell check, and why didn't the department check the signs before they put them up? Seeing double? A Texas cooter turtle was born with two heads in San Antonio. The turtle is named Thelma and Louise after the characters from the 1991 Oscar winning movie of the same name, which is about a duo who take a cross country trip in a convertible. This was also Brad Pitt's first big movie. Thelma, Thelma and Louise, they didn't exactly have a happy ending. So, I found some other duo choices that would actually have happier endings. Um, there is um, Lucy and Ethel. Um, Cagney and Lacey, or Mary-Kate and Ashley. I'm just listing duos what I have for your story. The turtle, it has been said by one reporter, to have a split personality. One head was trying to fight him, and the other was looking curiously around. The two-headed reptile is now on display at the San Antonio Zoo. While Star Trek fans are probably now going to have their same space, it's Pluto's fifth moon, which was recently discovered, is probably going to be named Vulcan after the planet from the Star Trek universe. And craters on Pluto are possibly going to be named Kirk, McCoy, Sulu, and Spock. Well, which ones should I choose? The old ones or the new ones? I personally like them both. If the original, but if the original series had lasted five seasons, having a fifth name moon would have been ironic. All right, guys, that will be it for this episode. You can follow the show on the ATR Productions Facebook page, which will be in the description below. So, um, see you guys next time.